In 2006, scientists reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet, and people protested. Recently, news outlets reported that Triceratops, while still a dinosaur, was not a Triceratops at all, but a younger version of another species called Taurosaurus. What's up with scientists changing their minds? Over a hundred years ago, paleontologists discovered numerous three-horned dinosaur skulls. They appeared similar, but also showed important differences, so scientists put them in two categories. A smaller skull belonged to a Triceratops, and a larger one with big, natural holes in its frill was considered a Taurosaurus. Scientists, as you know, paleontologists, we classify these animals, we give them names, we describe new species. But one of the things that's often ignored is their ontogeny, or how they grew. By examining the bone tissue, scientists like Mark Goodwin can determine whether the dinosaur was still growing at the time of fossilization. Even this one, the largest Triceratops skull in the UC Museum of Paleontology collection, exhibits proof that the bones were not yet fused, so despite its size, this skull came from a young adult. We were able to come up with the first growth series of Triceratops. And, and it was remarkable. It wasn't just that they go from, you know, fitting on the size of fit on a dinner plate to, you know, over six feet or two meters in length. Uh, we saw an, a range of morphological change as they grew up. Shape and size of the horns, for instance, or these ornamental bones, these triangular bones around the edge of the frill. With this knowledge, Montana State University paleontologists John Scanella and Jack Horner took another look at the fossil evidence, and they discovered that rather than being from two separate species, the Triceratops and the Taurosaurus represent two different life stages of the same species. It's not unusual that Taurosaurus was poorly represented in the fossil record. All specimens of paleontologists found were these large adult morphs. This isn't the first case of dinosaur species merging, and there's sure to be more to come, but don't mourn Triceratops just yet. Triceratops actually has seniority on the name. It was described in 1889. Taurosaurus was described in 1891. So it's actually Taurosaurus that's no longer valid.